Hey everybody and welcome back. This is going to be us going through the mind map exercise of how to come up with a business idea. So what you're gonna need, either two inch pieces of paper or what I have are a series of just different post-it um, notepads and they're different colors which helps. They don't have to be different colors. You can have that kind of standard yellow, green, blue, whatever. You just label what which is which on each one. So like for me, I'm going to use like green for strengths. I'm going to use blue for interests, resources, problems, and then finally business ideas. So it's really up to you how you want to do this. If you want to take some time and cut out some blank pieces of white paper, like take a piece of printer paper, fold it up, cut it up. Notebook paper is fine too. Like it doesn't have to look pretty. It can be pretty much anything you want it to be. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna set my timer for two minutes. And in that two minutes, I have to write down as many strengths as I can think of. And this is for me. So what am I good at? Uh, what are some things I know how to do? So like things I can do, things I like to do, things I do really well. Uh, remember, this is one of those ones where you could ask friends or family, hey, like, what do you do well? I know we're doing a two minute brainstorm quick, but at the end of this, you can always go back and ask other people, hey, what do I do well? Um, you know, what would you ask me for help with that sort of thing? Those are good questions to find out what are the things that you're good at doing. So let's set our timer. And I got two minutes. You probably can't see that, but I got two minutes on the clock and I'm ready. I'm ready. So two minutes to write down as many strengths as I can think of for myself. And let's go. All right, there's my time. So I'm gonna finish that last thought, put that out there. So what I got so far, I had working with kids, athletics and fitness, breaking down complicated topics, business advice, math, speaking in public, tutoring, talking to people, so strangers, I'm like, you can put me in a room and I'll talk to anybody, entrepreneurship, personal finance, making PowerPoints, um, doing graphic design, soccer, and writing. Um, those are things that I wrote down. Now there are obviously some things that I'm missing. Like when you put a two minute timer down, you're just like, I'm throwing out ideas here. You're gonna forget some stuff, but that's totally okay. Like you can always come back and add to this later. We're gonna move on to the next one. And the next one is your interests. So things that you like to do. And there may be some overlap with the things you're good at. You'd kind of expect that. Like things that you like to do, you probably are good at as well. Don't be afraid to write them down a second time and give yourself that two minutes to get as many of these thoughts down as possible. All right, ready and let's go. Okay, there's my two minutes. So helping people, just finishing that last thought. Okay, so that time I've got things like movies, making graphics, math came up again, education, talking about money. Um, I'm very passionate about soccer, love soccer. I um, told you guys that once before. Uh, Man United is the team I support. Um, I love coffee, I like being outdoors, I love being a dad. Um, I like playing video games. FIFA, by the way, that's my game. I love playing that. Uh, I like finding new technology, things that make things more kind of exciting, interesting, convenient, whatever it is. Um, I love talking to interesting people, new people as well, like just meeting lots of people, seeing what they do, what they do different to me. Is there anything that I should take on? Um, I have a couple of things I missed. I love listening to podcasts. I like reading books. So like there's things here that I didn't think of and it's okay to kind of come back later and finish that off. Next one up resources. So things that you have available. Now this could be stuff. It can be people. It can be um, access to like different networks, um, just kind of advantages that you have in your life that you could take it, that you could use in a business. And they could be things that other people have as well, but they could also be things that others don't have, like what's unique to you. So let's set our timer again for two minutes. Ready? Not ready. Ready and let's go. Okay, there's my two minutes. So this one, I actually found this one a little bit harder. Um, 
just because I, I think sometimes we take for granted the things that are in our lives. We have to really think about, okay, what is actually available to me? Like, you got to notice it. And sometimes you, you can think of these things and I guarantee you, as soon as you stop this exercise, you're going to like go around your house and be like, oh, I can use this. I could use this. I could use this. I could use this. And you just come back and you add these to your notes. Like you don't have to just be done because the two minutes is done. All right. We are up to people's problems. So what problems do you think there are in society that you would like to try and solve? And you know, you guys can see that this is very spread out at the moment. You can overlap. It doesn't have to stay like a little rainbow here. It can be color coded or it can just be a scattered mess. Um, I'm going to run out of space soon, so I will start scattering very quickly. All right, two minutes on the clock for problems. Ready? And let's go. Okay, there's my two minutes. And again, this one's a hard one because you have to, you, you think you know what people's problems are. And there's two ways to approach this. You can just say, okay, generally what are problems that I'm hearing, seeing around me? Or think of a very specific group of people. Like is it your friends, is it your family, is it your community? Is it the world in general, is it your country? And what are the problems that you hear about for them? Once more, come back and add to this as you go. All right, so last one up is going to be our ideas. Okay, so two minutes on the clock. These are just business ideas, things that could be floating around in my head or that I've seen other people do. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Or just things that maybe as I've been doing this could be potential solutions that are popping up. Whatever you're thinking, two minutes, write down everything you can think of. These are not the limit. This is not the limit on the business ideas we're going to come up with. We will do another round where we start mixing these together. Ready and go. Okay, there's my two minutes. So you can, um, things I'm thinking about, I have like camps, I've got a t-shirt business, gardening classes, outdoor classes, personal finance classes, uh, do a landscaping business, um, soccer fitness, do YouTube classes, do um, a business class. So basically this is how kind of the summer camp idea came up. I was like, okay, you know, people are bored, they want to learn how to make money and they can't do it in person. So let's do an online business class. Um, dog walking, just, you know, like animals, like being outside, why not? Um, doing delivery for people so they're afraid of getting sick, why not do a delivery business? Um, a running club or an online store. All right, so now that I have done my five rounds, we start trying to see can we come up with a business idea. So now that we have all of our strategy down on the table, we can start thinking about, all right, where are the groupings going to be? So I want to look for patterns, things that are coming up that are kind of common. So I've got this big spread, start pairing things up. So I'm seeing some themes here with tutoring, math, education is another one. So is there anything that kind of goes with that? I, I like teaching about personal finance, um, entrepreneurship, working with kids should be up there too. Not correct design, speaking public, I guess that's kind of like teaching too, breaking down complicated topics. Business advice, yes. Talking to people will come in there. Athletics, fitness, no. Okay, so that's kind of on its own. So then thinking about likes, you know, I like education. Um, so I like learning, I like teaching. Math is up there too. So I'm gonna stick math in there. Um, making graphics, I'm gonna start a second little kind of thing in here. So graphic design seems to be another theme that's popping up. You know, like it kind of comes in with DIY as well. So you can see, like I'm starting to just make groupings here on how things are looking. Athletics fitness seems to be its own sort of thing as well. So I'm gonna sort of throw that down here too. I'm gonna move it once I got some more space. So we got soccer, running's in here as well. So it's soccer. I'm a big fan of Man United being outdoors, soccer, new technology. I guess that can kind of go with that graphic design part. Movies is sort of on its own. It's like, I like movies, I like TV, but I don't know where they're gonna quite fit yet. Podcast, could make an educational podcast. I guess TV, you could talk about like a YouTube TV as well. 
talking to interesting people. It kind of goes with podcasting and education. Being a dad, well, it's kind of on its own. Video games, sort of on its own. I don't think I'm going to design a video game anytime soon, but that'd be a really fun thing to do. I always want to design a board game too. Talking about money, yes. Uh, so personal finance, business advice, money. Um, helping people with their businesses, that would go up there too. Coffee. Uh, maybe I do like a coffee in the morning podcast, something like that. Okay, so that's all of my likes, interests put in there. I got PowerPoints, go with graphic design, writing. Kind of put that, maybe it goes up here with podcast writing. So usually you have a written component as well. All right, so now I'm into my resources. Which resources do I want to use? So for podcasting, we would have microphone, camera. I guess a phone would go in there too. This is currently being recorded on a phone, and then I've also got camera going on. Um, access to a car, living in a nice area. I don't know. I'm going to put that with the outdoorsy stuff because that's kind of something I like. The car thing, I don't really know where that's going to go yet. Same with cheap gas, but I'm going to keep those together. Um, having access to a publisher. So for the simple startup, I have a publisher that I work with. I'm not quite sure where that's going to belong right now, but keep it on the table. So the swivel camera, that's what this is currently being recorded on right now. That's a camera that if I were to walk around, I could set it to track me around the room. So I use it when I teach sometimes. It'll like follow me around the room and has a microphone built in as well. So I'm going to put that up here with the podcasting part. Chooseify. Um, so X, I work with Chooseify. I have access to a lot of their resources. Um, I'm going to put that with the podcasting part just because it's something that I could use very easily there. Laptop would go up there too. Though it also belongs kind of in the graphic design. So I'm going to put it in between the two of those. William is my tech guy. So anything I have tech related, I can ask him about. So I'm going to put that next to laptop. Same with Rocky. He's kind of helpful on the business side. So I'm going to put him over here. School contacts. So like if I want to do something educational, I have a lot of school stuff that I can work off of. So I'm going to put that up here with my tutoring stuff. Fast internet. Sure, that kind of goes up there with doing any sort of these podcasts or video channels, something like that. Athletic gear and soccer stuff. So it's kind of coming back to this outdoorsy fitness sort of theme. All right, so, so far I'm seeing two, maybe three kind of ideas popping up. I've got this tutoring idea, some sort of podcast or video channel, like something um, techie related there. And then I've got an outdoorsy and... It's a kind of a graphic design pile popping up here too. So maybe four ideas at the moment. Going into people's problems. So do problems fit into any of these? Would any of these kind of solve problems? So isolation. People want to talk to each other, be around each other. That's the outdoorsy thing might help with that. Maybe if I did some sort of like soccer fitness. Um, that's kind of something I've always thought, thought about doing. I think that's one of my business ideas. Yeah, soccer fitness. So if I wanted to do some sort of fitness camp for soccer, that could work in there. So I've already picked up a business idea and plopped in there, but that's totally fine. You don't have to do these in one particular order. Um, so people not being safe. So that kind of goes with both these like social distance um, activities that you can do. Regular activities being canceled, same thing. Stores being closed. So you can't really do your normal stuff. I kind of want to go with the entrepreneurship side though. So maybe that's sort of breaking down people's ability to work. So I'm going to put that up there with entrepreneurship. Schools closed, so it kind of goes with regular activities. No official sports leagues, so kind of down in sports again. People not having a lot of money for things. I'm going to put that in the entrepreneurship one and personal finance. Lack of face masks, that kind of goes with people not being safe. People being bored. I mean, any of these could solve that problem. Like there's just any business idea will potentially help with that. But I'm going to think about like maybe working with kids, the tutoring, the entrepreneurship stuff, not enough time. So that would be something that maybe like, is there one of these that's going to help people with their time management or it's going to combine multiple activities into one? It's going to take something off their hands. I'm going to go with up here in the tutoring part. It could solve it a little bit. Like if people don't want to teach kids themselves, they could hire me to teach their kids for them. Want to work but no jobs, entrepreneurship. Don't like remote learning. So maybe like that would be like the podcast one that would solve that. Gyms closed. We're back here in Jeff Physical Activity. 
All right, I'm going to try and spread these out a little bit more because it's starting to get a little crowded. So we've got this athletics, people not being safe. So yeah, it's going to come live over here. We got the graphic design stuff. It doesn't seem to be much going on there, but kind of keep that down here. All right, so now I look at my business ideas and see do any of these sort of fit in there. Uh, business classes, yes. Business t-shirts, that would go with the graphic design part. So sorry, that was a t-shirt business, not business t-shirts. Delivery, so that was kind of solving the um, people not being safe, bringing it to them. I guess it's kind of like a podcast. You're delivering content to somebody. YouTube classes goes in there too. Okay, so now think about what comes next. I've got camps, um, sort of going up there with the classes, tutoring sort of thing. Online store, that would go with my business t-shirts. Gardening classes, kind of its own thing. I'm gonna keep that down here. I don't really know where that belongs. Personal finance class goes with business. Landscaping. So I like, I like working in the garden. My wife's quite good at it. She knows a lot about it. Maybe we can make a business out of that. Running club. So that sort of goes with the outdoorsy stuff. Outdoor classes. Dog walking. Kind of outdoorsy, but also gardening. I'm going to move the outdoor classes there too. All right. So that leaves me with my piles. And I'm starting to see some themes popping up here. What I want to do first is kind of remove things that maybe like I'm not super interested in for a business. So like math. I'm not quite looking to do any tutoring right now. I do plenty of that um, during the school year. So I'm going to take that one out. Like math, not quite what I'm looking to do right now. I'm starting to see some themes pop up though. So I've got some sort of like online t-shirt store. I've got maybe being some sort of like DIY handy person teaching about gardening. Some sort of like tutoring slash teaching. And then organizing some sort of sporting activity. And this is where I can start thinking about my businesses. So if I was to look at this, I'd be like, all right, up here, what am I seeing? A lot of stuff about money, entrepreneurship, podcast, tutoring, YouTube. I think what I would like to do is, this is kind of like the simple startup um, camp. It's basically running personal finance classes for either adults or for teens again. I'm kind of like in the adult side. So maybe like a personal finance and starting your own business combo. So like helping people to take charge of their money so they can learn about money, but then also how to create their own money too. So create it and then learn how to manage it. I think that would sound really fun. Organizing sports, maybe doing some sort of outdoor soccer fitness. So that would combine my love of soccer with my love of fitness. And I know that I, for one, like miss organized soccer. Like when you finish college, like organized soccer kind of disappears. I would love to set up some sort of like fitness, outdoor fitness um, activity where there's a soccer theme to it. So we're using soccer balls. And then if we were able to get back to contact sports again, maybe it'd be like a training with like a game at the end as well. That'd be really fun. Maybe charge people to come to that. The online t-shirt store. So that would be doing like personal finance, business themed t-shirts that people could buy. These are like fun ones, funny ones. And then this gardening DIY outdoorsy stuff. That'd be kind of fun. I don't think I would do dog walking. I'm not super passionate about dogs anyway, but like the gardening, outdoorsy stuff, landscaping, that could be fun to do. And then I've got these kind of oddballs kind of hanging out here, which don't really have a place right now. And that's totally fine. Now you start thinking about, okay, put them in order. Most exciting, easy to start. The teacher tutoring, um, personal finance classes, really excited about that. It wouldn't take a huge amount to do like an online webinar sort of series thing, but there's a little bit of work involved to get people to sign up and that sort of stuff. Organizing the sporting event, I'd be excited to do that. I'd like to take part myself, and I don't think it would take a lot to get it started. Like I have things like soccer equipment, I have balls, I have cones, I have um, outdoor speakers, that sort of thing. So I feel like that would be the easiest to start. Online t-shirt store, interesting, but a lot of work up front to design things and then put them up for sale and so, so on. And the gardening, uh, it's probably my least the one I'm least excited about, and it would take a little bit of work to get started. So if I were to do a plan A, B, C, organizing my sporting activity would be A, the teaching adults about how to start a business and their personal finance would be B, t-shirt store C, and then the landscaping or dog walking would be my business D. All right, that's a mind map, guys. That's how it works. Try it out for yourself. See what you come up with, and you can always go back, add more post-it notes to your pile. 
you can do this multiple times and each time you'll probably come up with something slightly different. It is a lot of fun to try it and see what you can come up with.